he didn't have the operation tomorrow, his lifespan would probably be quite short. It's extremely important to all of us that we get this right and that we give him this opportunity to get better. He's such a special day, honestly. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, we want the best for him, you know. Just. See, let's have a look and see how he's doing as well. <laughs> I'm Romain Pitsy, I'm a specialist um, wildlife veterinary surgeon and I'm here to do um, Bucky's brain surgery. Can we get that off this side of it? And then pull to try and keep it natural. Nice and steady. So pull one thumb towards the back. Yeah. So go, go past the table. Yeah. Right. Back, it's just there we are. Nice. Wonderful. Right. right. Yes, yeah, so I think if we flip him and we put him mainly on his back and see how his head lies. I mean, I might be able to get with less surgical wounds if I do this. X marks the spot. So at the moment, Elliot's induced the anesthesia in Baki and he's had, a, he's had a lovely anesthetic so far. Elliot's managed to keep him nice and calm um, and Donna and Gary have helped with doing the, the preparation. So we've done a very big clip so that everywhere that we could need to make, even though they're very small incisions, can't plan exactly where we're going to need to run the tube. So there's a, there's a very, very big shave and we're just sterilizing the skin now so that we can start. So we're about to go for it. So it's taken more than five and a half hours to do the actual surgery, which we'd hoped to be much quicker than that, but the anatomy's been quite different this time to the previous bear that we did the surgery on, and Rocky gave me a couple of challenges. The anesthesia was lovely and stable, and he didn't react to anything I was doing with the brain. But it's just one of those days where there were a couple of things we had to work around. So he stayed stable, everything's gone well now, there's been no major bleeds or problems, so we just have to see how he's going to recover. And we do have linked to the cameras in the dens onto our phones. So last night when we all left, we were still looking, <laughs> checking, and he slept pretty much throughout the whole night. He's a gorgeous bear and just everyone's investment and everyone's love for him 
and just his tolerance for everything we've put him through just means that you, you just want the result for him that he deserves. So to see him up and eating this morning, I have to admit was, was at the point of holding back tears because genuinely he's just such a gorgeous animal and to see what he's gone through and he's still willing to trust us, feed, have a scratch, you know, is just, it's a lot. He is a very trusting, very friendly, very personable bear. Um, you know, he, there's a little bit goofy about him and he, he is a real character and I can see why everyone's so strongly bonded with him. And even this morning, the thankful bit is I've not done his anesthesia, so he doesn't know who I am. So he didn't mind me going and having a look. And he is, he is very trusting. He, we got him to take his medication and I think we all really, really want him to do well. So we're all really keeping our fingers crossed for him.